also, this is an American woodcock. They display what we know as reverse sexual dimorphism, so the females are always larger than the males. I can tell just by the size of this bird in my hand that's going to be a female, more than likely. Um, the bill's normally a little longer. As soon as we catch a bird, that's the first thing I'm going to do is pull the outer three primaries out. And uh, I look at the outer, the outermost primary most heavily of any of them. But you see the outer three, they're, this is the, what gives woodcock the, the noise they make in flight. That, that kind of shrill whistling noise they make. That's their, they're really what they're famous for. What you're looking for on an adult is the modeling you see on one side of the feather. On a juvenile, it's on both sides. And really only looking at about the last half inch. I ban the bird right off the bat, first mm -hmm. thing when we catch it. That way, if nothing else, even if I don't get age and sex data, I, I still banded the bird and we can still get hunter harvest information. Five years from now or next year or whatever, that bird dies and somebody finds it or someone shoots it and they collect it and we know how long it lived. Um, you know, it could be killed in Maine. We know where it went. I'm thinking it's about 188. All right. And the holy cow. 210 grams, that's the biggest bird I've caught all year.